Jake Ludington here at IBM Impact, and I'm here with Stephen Kinder, and Blue Mix is everywhere at Impact. Everybody's talking about it in every session that I've been in, and why is that? Well, it's an uh, innovative way to um, provide a public self-service mechanism for folks to uh, deploy, rapidly deploy applications that they write in reaction to um, what we call systems of engagement these days. And it is a change of focus uh, of application developers uh, that has been driven by really multiple pressures on businesses. Uh, it's related to uh, the, the idea that everyone's carrying a mobile device. Uh, it's related to there's tons of data out there related to sentiment on your business uh, in, in the form of social media. And it's really bringing all of these things together along with set of analytics, services, and uh, providing them in easy, composable ways such that uh, even a smallest business, a startup, could potentially build an amazing application leveraging things that used to only be available to the largest corporations. They get advanced analytics, monitoring, um, and they're pay-as-you-go so they, they can afford to take little bites at a time. And if, if the application takes off, their business starts growing, you know, they, it just scales right with it. So that's, that's the whole idea and the intent of Bluemix. So for developers, how does this speed development? <coughs> um, basically, we provide all the infrastructure uh, that does all the URL publishing, making your application available to everybody, you know, uh, may, making it easy to scale. You just say, geez, I need 10 instances. Um, we're uh, betaing an uh, auto-scaling feature. Um, you know, there, there's just a ton of infrastructure that is in the hosted environment that is there to support the developer. He doesn't need to think about infrastructure anymore, and he's really now he's really focused on his business logic. I, I will admit that I am somewhat ignorant of how the whole Bluemix uh, ecosystem works, but is it uh, developer language agnostic? Uh, yeah, actually, we do have some value-add uh, application environments, including WebSphere, but the, the foundation of Bluemix is built on Cloud Foundry, which is an open architecture and an open implementation for the cloud infrastructure. And that, that architecture allows for the inclusion of something called a custom build pack, which the community already has at least 20 build packs of different languages that can be plugged into the environment. You know, languages are really tools and just like a toolbox, some tools are great for, for some tasks and some tools are great for other tasks. And so I don't get into the language religion. Um, I love Java, but you know, there's lots of reasons to be using JavaScript, Ruby, PHP. And so the, the value of a generic polyglot which means multiple language, environment is that the application programmer can choose the language they're familiar with, that they're comfortable with, and for the purpose that they're building their application.